So, we are going to understand gas transformations in electrodynamics and we can see that uh, these gas transformations are uh, some kind of transformations. So, let us first uh, see something about this uh, transformation before uh, going to gas transformation. Okay? so that uh, it can help us uh, to understand the concept of gas transformations okay so let us first uh, see the significance of the term transformation in physics so this is the idea well uh, we actually know about uh, this transformation basically by transformation uh, i mean about coordinate transformation okay uh, which we already know we know about coordinate transformation and we study this coordinate transformation in uh, mathematical physics okay and we also study and the application of coordinate transformation in other areas like uh, classical mechanics or quantum mechanics etc okay so uh, we know something about transformation or basically about the coordinate transformation now to understand the significance of uh, the transformation let us uh, consider two basic examples okay the first one is the coordinate transformation itself and other one is say Galilean transformation and actually this Galilean transformation is also uh, some a kind of uh, coordinate transformation ok so what is a coordinate transformation this uh, coordinate transformation we can understand through this uh, diagram where uh, this is the x y plane and the x y plane is rotated with respect to the z axis ok and say the z axis is perpendicular to this plane ok so what will happen under this rotation that uh, if we consider a coordinate point suppose having some coordinates x y z then under this uh, rotation uh, these coordinates will change ok so this is uh, basically the coordinate transformation we also know that uh, this coordinate transformation can be uh, described by some equation uh, which relates the old coordinates x y z to the new coordinates x prime y prime z prime ok through some orthogonal matrix so this is we also know so this is uh, basically about coordinate transformation now uh, what is Galilean transformation Galilean transformation is about uh, two frames of uh, reference one is stationary frame s and other one is uh, moving frame uh, s prime which is uh, moving with respect to the stationary frame with uh, some constant speed v ok and at uh, time t is equal to 0 the two frames uh, coincide and after some, some time interval we uh, discuss about the situation the situation means uh, suppose we uh, consider an event at some point ok having some coordinates x y z then uh, obviously after time t the coordinates of the point will be different for the two frames and these coordinates uh, the relation between these coordinates are given by these well known equations 
where x prime is equal to x minus v t, uh, y prime is equal to y and z prime is equal to z. Okay. Since uh, only x coordinate uh, changes. Okay. So this is about uh, Galilean transformation. Uh, now uh, let us go to the uh, most important part of uh, such transformations that means the physical uh, significance which is uh, very important for us. Uh, so, what is uh, the significance of uh, such transformation is that when we talk about some transformation in physics, it is generally associated with some invariance principle. Okay? So, this is uh, very important when we talk about some transformation in physics, it is generally associated with some invariance principle. And for example, under this coordinate transformation, uh, which we have just uh, discussed, if we consider a vector here O A suppose, then under this coordinate transformation, we know that the length of the vector remains unchanged. Okay? So, modulus of A prime is equal to modulus of A. So, this is the significance, physical significance of this coordinate transformation. Again, uh, in Galilean transformation, we know that Newton's laws remain invariant. Okay? So, this is again uh, interesting for us under Galilean transformation the Newton's laws of motion remains invariant. That means, uh, under uh, when we talk about uh, some transformation in physics, it is generally associated with some invariance principle. Okay? And uh, we are going to explore similar kind of things in gauge transformations also. So, that is why we are discussing these things. Okay? Till now, we have considered uh, coordinate transformation as a basic type of transformation. Okay? Uh, now, let us have some more examples of transformations other than uh, coordinate transformation. That means, uh, let us consider some other type of uh, transformations, which are uh, not like uh, coordinate transformation. Okay? So, for example, uh, time translation. So, what is time translation? It is uh, the transformation of a system with respect to time. For example, uh, say we are considering a system at uh, time t 1 say, then uh, we can uh, again consider the system at a later instant of time t 2. Okay? Uh, so, it will be called as uh, time translation of the system and if the total energy of the system remains conserved, then we say that the system uh, is invariant under time translation. Okay? Similarly, uh, we have space translation and this is nothing but uh, transformation of a system uh, with respect to some linear distance. Okay? And uh, if the system remains invariant under this uh, space translation, we say that the linear momentum uh, remains conserved. Okay? Similarly, we also find that uh, rotation, if a system is uh, invariant under rotation, then angular momentum remain conserved. Okay? 
so finally what uh, we have discussed is that uh, we have discussed the significance of the term transformation in physics and we have seen that a transformation is usually uh, related with some invariance uh, principle okay and thereby we also find some conservation uh, theorem associated with the uh, transformation okay so uh, now we have to uh, apply uh, this concept of transformation or we have to see the significance of this transformation also in uh, gauge transformation that we are going to uh, study okay and uh, following this uh, discussion now we can have a uh, simple definition of uh, gas transformation at this moment. So, what is gas transformation? Gas transformation is a kind of transformation of electromagnetic potentials. Okay, that means uh, this gas transformation is uh, some kind of transformation uh, in analogous to say uh, these. Uh, transformations we have discussed like the time transformation, space uh, transformation etc. So, gas transformation is a kind of transformation of electromagnetic potentials ok. That means, the electric potential and the uh, magnetic vector potential. So, this is the basic definition of gas transformation. Uh, we will also explore uh, some invariance principle associated with this uh, gas transformation ok. As uh, like just we have discussed uh, in regarding the significance of transformation.